Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Middletown High School's Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Annual Inspection and Pass and Review Ceremony. I am Cadet Lieutenant Junior Grade Edward Moscatello, the Operations Officer and a Senior at Middletown High School. I will be acting as Master of Ceremonies for you today. Today's parade is the first time our cadets have paraded as a full strength unit this year and the first time all our new cadets have marched with the unit in public. We are very happy to have you here as guests and you are welcome to take pictures throughout the ceremony this morning. Please take a moment and place your phones on silent or vibrate at this time. Acting as adjutant today is Cadet Lieutenant Haley McNamara, a senior and our unit's executive officer. She is a graduate of the Northeast NJROTC Leadership Academy and Sail Training and a graduate of the NJROTC Senior Leadership Seminar. Haley is planning on enlisting in the United States Marine Corps after graduation in June. In a moment, you will see the arrival of the official party and the presentation of the colors. Our reviewing officer for today is Mr. Gregory Washington, United States Navy retired. Mr. Washington is the Navy's JROTC Area 1 Manager and is responsible for oversight and administration of over 30 NJROTC and NNDCC programs at public and private schools throughout the Northeastern United States and in Europe. Escorting Mr. Washington is Cadet Lieutenant Commander Alice Martinez, our Cadet Commanding Officer, and Cadet Senior Chief Hazley Lopez de la Cruz, the Senior Enlisted Advisor. Cadet Martinez is a member of the class of 2025 and a graduate of the NJROTC Senior Leadership Seminar. Alice is planning on going to college for cybersecurity. Cadet Lopez de la Cruz is a member of the class of 2025, a graduate of the Northeast Leadership Academy and Sail Training, and a graduate of the NJROTC Senior Leadership Seminar. She is planning on going to college to commission as an officer in the Army. Our color guard today is commanded by Cadet Chief Petty Officer Mackenzie Hagen, a member of the class of 2027. Other color guard members include Cadets Alexander Rodriguez, Diana Sanchez, and James Rivera. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the invocation. Chief Warrant Officer, United States Navy, retired, arriving.
Our invocation will now be given by Mr. Rick Scott, past president of the Middletown Kiwanis Club. Let us bow our heads for a moment of silence for all Americans who are in harm's way any place throughout the world. Almighty Father, whose way is in the sea, whose paths are in the great waters, whose command is over all and whose love never fails, let me be aware of thy presence and obedient to thy will. Keep me true to my best self, guarding me against dishonesty in purpose and in deed, and helping me so to live that I can stand unashamed and unafraid before my shipmates, my loved ones, and thee. Protect those in whose love I live. Give me the will to do my best and to accept my share of responsibilities with a strong heart and cheerful mind. Make me considerate of those entrusted to my leadership and faithful to the duties my country has entrusted in me. Let my uniform remind me daily of the traditions of the service of which I am a part. If I am inclined to doubt, steady my faith. If I am tempted to make me strong to resist, if I should miss the mark, give the courage to try again. Guide me with the light of truth and keep before me the life of him by whose example and help I trust to obtain the answer to my prayer. Amen.
Yes, please be seated. We are honored to have Mr. Gregory Washington as today's reviewing officer. As you can see in your program, Mr. Washington has had a demanding career and is now helping to prepare the citizens of tomorrow for the challenges that they will face in the decades to come. The cadet commanding officer will escort Mr. Washington as he troops the line. Ladies and gentlemen, the Senior Naval Science Instructor, Chief Slingerland. All right. Happy to see all the parents and guests, civic or organization members that are out here this morning. We've got uh, some of our Board of Education members, John Perino, Curtis Rett, and Mr. Williams. I forgot your first name in the moment, John. Uh, so thank you for uh, coming out this morning. Uh, thank you to the band for being here to help with some of the uh, audio that we needed this morning. The cadets have really put in a really phenomenal uh, practice leading up to this. This is the earliest that we have done a inspection and so far so good. Uh, everybody's looking really good. The inspection went well this morning. So. Uh, Cadets, great job. Bend your knees. There we go. I, I love to see the uh, Oompa Loompa uh, motions over there. Uh, but uh, the cadets always impress. I, I'm, I'm always proud of what they do. And uh, they are very present in the community. And hopefully some of you have seen our cadets out there cleaning streets out there at veteran stand downs, honor flights, and, and things like that. So far, since uh, our last end of year report, we have over 2,200 hours of community service for our cadets, which. <laughs> and, and that is a really great thing. And, and that averages out to about 21 hours per cadet. Uh, so. They, they are really doing great things. I look forward to seeing what they do throughout the rest of this year. The year just started, so uh, thank you. Our new cadet drill team is com commanded by Cadet Guadalupe de la Rosa Cuenta, a member of the class of 2028. These cadets are in their first year of our program, and the exhibition you will see is similar to those at JROTC drill competitions.
Our armed platoon drill team consists of cadets selected from any class who have demonstrated a special interest in and aptitude for drill. Many of these cadets also form our unarmed drill team, which will not be demonstrated today. The team is commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Junior Grade Edward Moscatello, a graduate of Leadership Academy, a member of the class of 2025, and our operations officer.
Cadets, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Gregory Washington. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. I'm going to be looking at the cadets. I'm going to be looking at the audience. I'm going to speak to everybody. I don't want to have my back to anybody. First, let me talk to the cadets. You guys are outstanding. It brings me chills to sit here and watch how well you are performing today during this inspection and all of the guidance of your Naval Science instructor. I want all of you right now to give a hand of applause to Chief Slingerland. There's a lot of rich history here at Middleton High School, Middletown High School because some may know, but those that don't know, Chief Slinger went to this high school and was in this program, because he's evidence that ROTC works. His mentor, Master Sergeant Willard, taught him and said, go do a career in the Navy, come back and teach at the school. And you know, a lot of us say that, but very rarely do we see it happen. So I'm in the midst of history, and I appreciate being here today to be your inspecting officer. Uh, cadets, it was wonderful. The drill events, the inspections, nobody failed. This is the first inspection of the year. It's tough to do in October, okay? But well, you did very well. You did your unit proud today. I'm always excited when kids show up. You're not sure. I wonder if cadet so-and-so is going to be here for the inspection because sometimes they try to get around it. But everybody showed up today for you, Chief. And that's a testament of their relationship to you as their instructor. 
I've been an instructor for 12 years and I was never by myself like Chief Slinger did. So Chief Slinger, you have hats off to you for the job you're doing and I'm gonna do everything in my God-given power to get you some help and get you another instructor here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> The next thing I want to say is to the parents, to the faculty staff who are here, thank you for the support of the program. NJROTC is a great program. Sometime in Congress we have a fight back and forth with that. Uh, ROTC works. It works. It makes kids better citizens. Well, options when they leave this place to go to somebody's college, somebody's career, somebody's military, and better prepare because they did one, two, three, or four years in this program. I did it for 12 years after doing 22 years in the Navy. So I've been serving, 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 and it looks like I'm still serving. I, I end all my emails with, be the best. I send that so people can see, remind themselves, be the best version of you, okay? I love this program. That's why I'm still doing what I'm doing. And for your parents, the support is enormous. I appreciate you being here. I have two regrets today. The first regret is I'm not in a uniform. And I know people say, wow, why are you not in uniform? You know, that's not my choice. So we got the district in Great Lakes, Illinois, Naval Service Training Command that says that all the area managers now have to wear suits. So all of us that have been wearing uniforms all life and still want to wear the uniform are told we have to wear suits. It feels awkward being up here and doing the salutes and doing the inspections in this suit. I like wearing a suit every now and then, but for this, I would rather be in that Chief Warrant Officer 3 uniform. So I want to apologize to that. And my feedback to my boss and to the Naval Service Training Command is like, we need to talk about this uniform at area manager inspections. Maybe they'll listen to me and others saying that. If not, it won't be for lack of us trying. The last thing I'll say to the cadets is stick with ROTC. This is your extended family. To the new cadets, I know it's a new way of life. You have to get used to people telling you what to do who are the same age as you, but they are in the program longer than you. They have position. I have a saying we used to say over the 12 years, and I want you to remember this about ROTC. You don't change ROTC, ROTC changes you. Thank you for your time and energy. I'll be here the rest of the day to finish off the inspection. You've done a great job. It's going to be hard for me to uh, see what it's going to be like tomorrow because everything is going to be compared to what it, you got, what it, they do at Middletown, okay? So it's going to be very difficult. The good thing about being an area manager, I get to see this 30 times a year. And this does my heart good because this is our future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Washington. Mr. Washington and Chief Slingerland will now present awards to the cadets who have had the best overall appearance at this morning's personnel inspection. When your name is called, report to Chief Swingland in the center of the deck. Guadalupe de la Rosa Cuenca. Let's save applause for the end so I could just read off these names real quick. Destiny Harriet, Gabriela Marrero, Arlex Diaz, Camilo Benavides, Camila Rodriguez, Natalie Acevedo, Elizabeth Zeman, Amari Sewell, Maximus Carrion, Estefany Barba, and Isabella Orocho.
Now, Chief Swingwood and Mr. Washington will be presenting a very special award to cadets that have had demonstrated remarkable citizenship within the community. These cadets have volunteered over 100 hours during their time in NJROTC. Genesis Campos. <laughs> Jarius Fontanez. Mackenzie Hagen. Xavier Hall. Indipri Carr, Hazley Lopez, <laughs> Valerie Lopez, Brian Morales, Alexander Rodriguez, Diana Sanchez. Honorary mentions to the following cadets who have volunteered over 200 hours. Please come up to the center of the deck when your name is called. Haley McNamara and Edward Moscatello. They will be receiving a bronze star. Those who have volunteer, uh, volunteered over 300 hours, please come up to the center of the deck. Juan Gonzalez Serrano, Alice Martinez, and DeAndre Olive. Now, for the final award, Chief Swingland and Mr. Washington will be presenting the Cadet of the Month Award for September. The recipient is Guadalupe De La Rosa Cuenca. Commanding our first platoon today is Cadet Joseph Brito, a senior in the class of 2025. 
Commanding our second platoon today is Cadet DeAndre Olive, a junior in the class of 2026. Commanding our color guard today is Cadet Mackenzie Hagen, a sophomore and a member of the class of 2027. Commanding our third platoon today is Cadet Javon Fish, a sophomore and a member of the class of 2027. Commanding our fourth platoon today is Cadet Valerie Volpez, a junior and a member of the class of 2026. Guests, please remain in place until our cadets have been dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our annual inspection and pass and review. Thank you for attending today's ceremony. Please feel free to remain for pictures with your cadet.